then we have our exercise on page 24 and 25, looking, um, start looking at what seasonality is to make understand it. So I'm just going to go through the answers to these questions and explain it just to help you along if you need it. So what we've got here is we've got um, sales of umbrellas on our axis up and down here and we've got on our horizontal axis we have our seasons so we've got spring, summer, autumn and winter so what we want to think about is umbrellas what seasons do they actually get used more in we know that they get used to rain a lot so we know that in winter there's a lot of rain. So I'm going to expect that there are high sales of umbrellas in winter. In autumn, there tends to be a lot of warm, dry days. There don't tend to be a lot of wet days coming. They might start coming in with a few wet days, but autumn tends to be quite long and dry. Um, so I'm going to say that there's quite low sales in autumn. In summer, well, people don't use it so much for umbrellas for rain and stuff. There's not a lot of it. No, if there is, it's usually quite warm. Um, but they sometimes do use it for keeping the sun off us. So I'm going to say, oh, a little bit more than autumn maybe and in spring it tends to be a little bit wet um, but again it's heading towards summer and people don't tend to buy much so I'm going to say spring is still relatively low so those are my values and now I'm just going to connect them with a line graph And that's my prediction for what I think um, umbrella sales might do over time. So then I look at the question underneath, and it says, "Do you think this pattern will repeat itself every year?" And if I think about that pattern, is winter going to be the wettest month of the year? Is summer going to be the driest month in the year and the sunniest month in the year? Yes, that's going to stay the same for the different years. So I'm going to say yes um, because people buy umbrellas. when the weather is wet. Which is in winter. So every winter to have the most sales. Okay, so there's my explanation for it. Okay, let's have a look at question number three. So, predict what you think the graph of toy sales might look like. Okay, so we've got to think, well, who buys we know people are buying toys for children. So we'll get grandparents, parents, aunties, uncles, cousins, friends, you name it, buying toys. Okay. 
So during the year, they will buy them for the birthdays. So for the kids' birthdays, they'll buy my toys. So we know that there's a lot of toys just constantly throughout the year. But particularly come Christmas time, they get kids get a lot of more Christmas presents, um, and they tend to get a lot of toys for Christmas. So I'm going to say in December, the sales of toys is quite high. Um, in November, it's not quite that high, but people have started buying beforehand. So there is less sales, but a bit more than other times of the year. And also in January sales, I know a lot of people go out and do some shopping in January with the Christmas money that they get. So I'm going to say it's not as high as December, but I'm going to predict that maybe there are more toys bought in January as well. Then the other months of the year, I'm just going to say are pretty constant. So I'm going to predict this for toy sales. That there's constant sales across the year for in, in terms of birthdays. Lots of kids have birthdays in every month. But then there's most in December, a little bit more leading up to December and a little bit more after December as well. So there's my prediction. And what I'm having to do is I'm having to think about the reasons which months might be higher or lower. So this is the key to understanding seasonality. So our last one here, predicting the graph of movie ticket sales. Well, when do people go to the movies? Movies come out on Thursday. So if it's a new release, they'll come out Thursday. So I'm going to expect Thursday might be a little bit more than normal. Um, but people are still working on Friday, most people. Most people work Monday to Friday. So therefore, I'm going to say Friday night, Saturday night is going to be much higher. In fact, I'm going to say Saturday night is the highest of them all. Sunday, people are going to church. But other people are still going to the movies, so I'm going to say there's still a good amount of sales on Sunday. And um, movie tickets tend to be cheap on, on was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh gosh, I can't remember if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. It's cheap movie tickets, I think. Maybe it's probably Tuesday. So in that case, I'm going to predict Tuesday is a little bit higher. But Monday and Wednesday, people are at work and I don't tend to go to the movies quite so much. So that's going to be my prediction of what I think the model might look like for sales of 